afternoon ladies and gentlemen I'm going today to a place called Chasewater if I can see because this road's bumpy <laughs> Anyway, it's a nice place and somebody suggested, why don't you go and see Chase Water? So, I haven't been there since I was a kid. Uh, yeah, so I'm going there. And I've been testing mirrors, as you know in my previous video. Uh, but unfortunately, mirrors just don't work for me. The mirror that was mounted below the handlebars because number one I'm left handed and number two I have to bloody hell and number two I have to lift the bike and put it on my shoulder uh, put in the bar put in the put in the mirror under the handlebar isn't an option because it's right where I put my head so for the time being because I do need a mirror Oh God, oh, I've got a car right up my chuff and I've got to pull up here. For the time being, I've got that. Look at the size of that mother. <laughs> and I can't see anything, believe it or not. It doesn't stick out far enough to, well, it just about does. It just about sticks, sticks out far enough that I can see around my arm. So I haven't got one. And I've had other suggestions of people, why don't you make like a Google Glass and an FPV camera sticking backwards and... No, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I'm not doing that. It's just extra bloody electronics I can do without. So I'll have to find a different answer. I might have a, a mirror on the left because then it won't obscure my lifting abilities. I'm out of breath a bit, because I've just pedalled. <sighs> anyway, I've got another camera on here. I've got a rear-facing camera, as per people requested. And it probably looks shit, because all you can see is my mudugger. Hey-ho, never mind. Oh, and I'm not giving you the audio off the, uh, off the GoPro, which is facing backwards, purely because it will sound really, really bad. So you'll have to listen to my boring bloody voice talking all the time. I've got another fly. I've got to fly me helmet. I've got to fly me helmet. I've got to fly me helmet. I've got to fly right in the helmet. Ah, it's right. Mother. Mother. No, don't go in here. Don't go in here. Please don't go in here. Please don't go in here. Don't go in here. Oh. I've got an insect phobia. I don't. I don't mind uh, spiders. I don't mind spiders at all. I don't mind creepy crawlies in general. I can't stand insects, as in flies, um, wasps, bees. Just as a side note, as well. Um. Did you know that insects, their first, their primary, their primary sense is their smell? So if you have a bee or a wasp or, or a fly or, or something buzzing around your head, you know the worst thing you can do is try and blow it away. All you're supposed to do is stop breathing. I mean if the bee's around your head for more than five minutes then it might be a good idea to um, kill it because otherwise you're going to be the one dead. Anyway, today I uh, want to talk a bit about health, which isn't a really good subject, but oh no, I don't like this island. I don't like this. I don't like doing this. Oh, bloody hell, bumps. Oh, bloody hell, off we go. A bit of a story for you. Around about three years ago, I think it was. Was it four years ago? It might have been four years ago now. There I was, uh, coming home from work in the car, minding my own business, as you do. And within, it, was, it took about five seconds and I, I lost the feeling in my legs. It started like 
bad pins and needles in my feet and then it went straight up my legs and I lost the feeling in my legs and I lost the function in my legs as well. You know when you you get a dead leg or you, you get pins and needles in your leg, you know the, the total numbness of the leg? Well, that's what happened. And I thought, well, this is about a really good time to pull over onto the hard shoulder. So I pulled over onto the hard shoulder and I couldn't use my legs because they were numb. So I had to pull the handbrake on to stop. And when I'd stopped, I was there uh, probably about 20 seconds. And I was really, I was panicking. And I think I actually had a panic attack because my chest started hurting and I thought, well, this is it. I, I th honestly thought I was gonna die. I was so scared. So anyway, I pulled off. I managed to pull off, which after what seemed like about five or six days <laughs> of sitting there, which was probably only about two or three minutes before the police turned up, and I got myself home, uh, went straight to bed, and I woke up in the morning quite amazed that I woke up in the morning actually. I phoned in work the next day because I felt I felt so ill. I, I was throwing up all the time. I couldn't, I, I didn't have any food because I couldn't hold it down and I was like that for about 24 hours. Anyway, a couple of days, uh, a couple of days have passed and I've eat, eaten absolutely nothing and I, I managed to get into the doctors and I went to see the doctor and told him what was going on and he said, uh, oh, you should have come and seen me on the day. But yeah, but I was I got a bit of a you know a bit of a problem. I couldn't really. Well, you should have found 999. You should have done this. Have, oh, it's okay. So you should have done. I didn't. I'm going to do a bit of pedalling. Anyway, he says uh, I want you to go for an ECG because uh, you may have had a heart attack. Oh great. Is this the north? I think this is the Northern Relief Road. Just just sidetracking a bit, you know. The Northern Relief Road, which costs an absolute fortune to travel on, but it's oh so nice. It's very, very well maintained, and it's so nice. And I'm getting vertigo. I, I suffer. Oh, I hate heights, and I did a parachute jump. <laughs> so I had my ECGs, and my ECGs came up, came back absolutely perfect. No problem at all. And then the doctor says, uh, test you for uh, every known disease to man. So yeah, all right then. And so I went for some blood tests. Uh, you know, the LFT, which is the liver function, the lipids and uh, cholesterol, this, that and the other. And they came back, the cholesterol, yeah, it was high, but it, it was all right. And he said, I can't find anything wrong with you. I said, well, I lost feeling in my legs. That's what's wrong with me. Well, I can't find any... I can't, there's nothing showing up on the blood test, like your liver function, your everything. The H1, A, B, C, Q, F off and all that. You know, it was all fine. So I said, well, what do I do then? So said, well, you have to go, see, see what happens, see if anything progresses. That was his answer, see if anything progresses. So okay then. So I, I went home. He said I want to see you in a, in, a, in a couple of days. So I went back. I was I was due to go back on the Thursday. Or the, no, it was the Friday morning. I've been off work all week because I felt so ill. Anyway, on the Friday morning, I thought I've I've got to have something to eat because I hadn't eaten for bloody four days, I think it was. And. I had a piece of toast, just one piece of toast. I love big American pickups, they're just so manly. Anyway, I had, a sli I had a, just a slice of toast. And about 20 minutes later, completely lost the feeling in my legs again, so I couldn't go back to the doctor's, so I phoned him up. And I said, it's happened again. I said, but I know what it is. It's to do with wheat. And he said, oh, 
come and see me when you can. So the day after I'd, I'd gained the feeling back in my legs and I went back to see the doctor and he said oh yes 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 glutenology or gluten intolerance I'll send you for some more blood tests I said hang on I've just had three done Yes, but we haven't tested you for celiac. I had to have some more blood tests done. Anyway, he tested me for celiac, and it come back clear. So I went back to the doctors again, and he said, OK, you haven't got celiac. You're not celiac, or you're celiac disease, or whatever you call it. Oh, fantastic. So I said, what do I do then? And he said, well, evidently, the problem is coming from when you have anything with wheat in it, or gluten. So, don't have gluten. Fly still in my helmet. Bastard! And so he said, oh, don't have anything with gluten in it. That was the answer. That's the answer the doctor gives you. Don't have anything with gluten in it. I remember going round, um, where was it now? Sainsbury's, I think it was. Put the sunglasses on. I went round Sainsbury's looking for gluten-free bloody food and everything else. And I found there's a whole aisle called Free From in Sainsbury's and it's got, it's all gluten free stuff. And it costs four times the price of anything non-gluten. But I had to buy some because I had to eat. And I went home and I started eating and the symptoms completely disappeared. I, I felt for the first time in, I really don't know how long, it was a long, long, long time. Months and months and months. I actually felt healthy again. So, whatever it was, it was just, it seemed to me like it was cr Get off that gravel. I don't know if I've messed the bike up, it makes it disgustingly dirty. I was on gluten-free stuff for uh, two, two and a half years, and I thought, I, every now and again, I'd try just a piece of bread, water skiing. Ha! I can do that. <laughs> and I could feel my heart racing, and... My, my legs start tingling, just, just a piece of bread. So I stopped it. Go back to the gluten free stuff again. Oh, decking. Oh, I don't like this. Hi, yeah. Oh, crazy golf. Or oh, is it put put golf? They call it in America. I've got plenty of sex juice in the tank, so I can go loads of places. Uh, anyway, uh, so about s six months ago, I think it was. I thought I'd try some bread again, expecting my legs to go numb, and you know. But I tried it, and it might, it had no effect. Absolutely none whatsoever. So I, I basically started having. I basically started. I basically. I basically. Basically. Ass. I started having um, gluten again, and I was. I was enjoying food, although initially, God, it didn't half make my guts bad. But it was a lot cheaper. Hell of a lot cheaper. A bit of totty. So I, I, I started eating gluten again no side effects at all and I didn't realize that I was starting to feel bad because it was gradual um, there was there, there was there was actually signs thinking about it that I was feeling so lethargic and I was I was feeling I don't know I was tired all the time and my god there's a lot of bees around here was it about a week ago I think it was I was at work and I was feeling I was, I was feeling really ill my eyes were all puffy and I looked like I hadn't slept for a month and I just thought I was coming down with something you can't really go any further Tony and you've got a choice you either oh, bollocks to it it's the worst that can happen ow 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 Ow! Thorns, prickles, ow! Pain, pain, pain. Ugh. I'm on the beach. That's it. Anyway, I can't have gluten. I can't do it. 
because it makes me ill. The cost of living has quadrupled again. So, I've got to buy gluten-free shit. Oh. And then this is chase water, everybody. This is where all the boats go, all the jet skis, all the water skiers, everybody goes here to learn how to fall grace graciously. <laughs> Quite nice here, really. On a nice summer's day, you could sit at the side here and think, honestly think that you're at the seaside. <sighs> See, there's the GoPro. Well, you probably can't see it. Oh, hello. Are you recording? There's no flashy lights. Oh. I know you want me to wheel spin, but I'm not doing it because it's loose gravel. And I don't wheel spin on it. Well, I do, but I don't. No, I don't like it. No, I don't. I won't do it. I won't. Stop making me do it. Stop it. Stop trying to talk me into it. Oh, okay then. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot the, the throttle's on the ramp down as well. <laughs> and you let go, it just keeps going. And it's all boggy down there, so I'm not going in there. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, shit. Fence. <laughs> Ah, that was nice. Ooh, she wasn't happy. You see some people, bloody hell, they're so miserable. <laughs> you wake up next to someone and they're like, I've got a face. What the hell have I woken up next to? Although that's never happened to me. Well, I could do that. How's that work then? Is that motor... I wonder if that thing on the top that he's got is a motor electric thing. Is it? It sounds like it's a brushless motor in the top. Yeah, it must be. Is it? Or does the cable work? No, the cable moves by the looks of it. There's some red motors there. Over there. And over there. Totally bloody waffle on about crap that I don't know anything about. Well, that was nice. Off camera for a nice relaxing... Nice relaxing ride. I've just been round there with no helmet, no camera running, no nothing. Oh, that was so nice. I'm definitely coming here again. Absolutely definitely. You know those places where you just like to go on a hot summer's day? Oh, that goes down there. So I didn't need to go down that way. Oh well, it gives people an idea of how you get in the place. So you go over the Northern Relief Road, which is here, and you turn left. Simple as that. I've knocked the, uh, I've knocked the regen down a bit uh, because it was getting a bit, not dangerous, but it was a bit uncomfortable when, um, when I was letting go of the throttle and I found that it was less efficient than using the brakes, believe it or not, because when I was slowing down, I was having to use some of the throttle because otherwise... Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God, I'm one of the worst people for explaining things in the world. I don't know how much I've just missed. Because my camera keeps bloody cutting out. Anyway, this is Brownells. Oh, you could just lose yourself in here. Oh. This would be so quiet at night, so peaceful. Oh, someone uh, someone said a while back that uh, this bike, what I should do, is go into Halfords and say, mm, this is a proper bike. Not the shite that you sell, although this is where I got the bike from. God, that looked fast. I've just realised that this was supposed to be a vlog, 
Oh, the biker bang, the biker bang, the biker gang team. And I need to indicate with my arm because that's what I do. You see, this bloody regen is rather, it's bloody tough when you're doing, um, let's try and explain this with regen. Now, everybody knows how regen actually works. Uh, what happens is, when you take your hand off the throttle, the motor acts as a brake, but it also generates electricity and puts it back in the battery through the speed controller. I've got this set so as when I take my hand off my throttle, the regen kicks in, which is around about 30 amps, I think it is. So it'll give 30 amps of current back into the battery, so it recharges the battery at the same time. One of the positive sides of it is it also causes braking on the back wheel, so I don't need to use my back brake as much. But the negative side is when you take your hand off the throttle, it also causes a lot of drag. So when you're trying to indicate mainly right, when you take your hand off the throttle, when you indicate right, you've obviously you've got a lot of drag that pulls the handlebars and it gets a bit bloody dodgy at times, you know. This speed controller is barely, in fact it's just normal air temperature. It hasn't even got the slightest bit warm. This fucking camera keeps turning itself off. What the friggin' hell's going on there? Pissing things, doing my head in. The only trouble is with a GoPro or something like that, it's going to possibly stick down too far, so it's going to be in my view. Although it might not be. I'll have to... I don't want to put it on the front of my helmet, as in the face guard. I don't really want it there. But if that's the only place I can put it, then... I hope. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end this one, because I'm going to go back home now, and I'm going to go down to... Oh shit! I've just hit a pigeon. Sorry Mr Pigeon. It wasn't intentional. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go and get a GoPro. And what I'll do is I'll do a uh, fitting video. So as everybody knows exactly how to fit them with a microphone and everything else. And remember... Uh, I've still got nothing. <laughs>